What's up guys, it's V Renee. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you a tour of my writing space. So this first spot is my goal board. Um, at the time of filming, August has just started and I have a lot of things I wanna accomplish with writing and content. So it helps me to have them right in front of me. And I know since y'all will ask, this postcard is an illustration of the Haunted Mansion uh, at Magic Kingdom because I'm Haunted Mansion trash. I'm really lucky to overlook this cute little pond. It's very peaceful. This is the setup we use. This is actually my boyfriend's computer because mine is in need of a tune-up. Uh, but the wireless keyboard and mouse are really helpful to keep the screen at a ergonomically friendly height. Um, but I'm going to go through these little boxes, these two shelves, and my ottoman, which holds all my secrets. And for those wondering, these are the big baddies that hold up the computer. The mirror, I actually thrifted and spray painted. It's a very Beauty and the Beast vibe, and that's a map. And this is the first box. It's a cigar box I thrifted, and it holds my most used stuff. So obviously pens, sticky notes, a little notebook. This is my camera remote. That is a squeaker out of one of Nala's toys. This is a fidget mabobber thing and another fidget mabobber thing, not my purchases, a box of push pins, post-it flags for editing, lighters for my candles. I'm a candle fiend, especially when I'm writing. And that's all for that bad boy. These are my crystals. They are fun to hold. That is all I know about them. Uh, there's a salt lamp and a time turner because of course I have a time turner. And this box is chock full of post-it flags. If you've seen my self-editing blogs or posts, you know I use the shit out of these bad boys. The box below that, both boxes are from Old Time Pottery, by the way, is Bits and Bobs. So, uh, zip drives, another squeaker from Nala's Toys because she hates the squeak, a piece to my tripod, salt lamp bulbs, I don't even know. And down we go to the shelves. If you're wondering, I got this desk on Amazon for like 65 bucks and I put this bad boy together all by myself, which is why you can see some stickers because some of the pieces are facing the wrong way, but anyway... This little file folder holds my most recent revisions notebook, which is full of spoilers, so let's go ahead and close that, Victoria. I have a copy of Civil Blood available on Amazon that I keep here with every intention of annotating for sequel continuity, and that hasn't happened yet. And then I have a Holy Bible for the same reason, annotation of where I use verses in the Thistle Wolf series. This is the box I keep a lot of crap in. My Rider Waite tarot card for blood from a stone research, my phone box, a big ass binder clip for when I print a draft to edit, tape. This is a recorder I got to help me brainstorm accidental evils. I highly recommend doing that in your brainstorming stage, an HDMI adapter, whatever that is. Oh, that's a gel, a gel light for gel nails. Headphones case, blank CDs because I'm from the CD burning generation and sentimental stuff under that. And I'm gonna put the stuff back where it doesn't go so the box won't close because that's who I am as a person. This is my tripod. It's a UB size tripod pro for smartphones, a three hole punch to put drafts in binders, my laptop cover that I'll usually put my wireless keyboard in when I travel to protect it. That's supposed to be in the brown box, but it's not. On to the binders. This binder is my Thistle Wolf series Bible. When I thought I was a plotter, I was so sure I'd keep up with this series Bible and as we know, I have it. So there's the table of contents and here's her walk down memory lane for my writing plan for Civil Blood. Seems like a million years ago. I kept a log of the poems used in each book as well as the quote that each title comes from and a synopsis. This is the writing plan for Accidental Evils, which as you can see, I totally kept to. And that's the writing plan for Something Wicked. <laughs> These are maps I made of areas in Thistle Wolf, Barton, the school, the species of the Thistle Wolf trilogy, what Aradia can and can't do, the legends and prophecies. I also did background on the Covenant and the Spell Glossary, as well as a Barton history and a Matthews family tree. Um, I de definitely recommend a series Bible when it comes to things like that, world building, family relationships, etc. This binder is the rough draft of the final book in the Thistle Wolf trilogy, Something Wicked. Um, I'm starting draft three soon. And this binder is empty because I need to print the rough draft of Blood from a Stone so I can revise it. This is a clipboard, cool. And this guy holds my bigger revision notebooks. So loose editing notes that definitely have spoilers on them. Not sure why I felt the need to show them off like this. But yeah, bigger notebooks. I love notebooks. Speaking of, it's time to go into the Ottoman. I have a problem. And my problem is notebooks. Some of these are written in, some of these are empty. Those are all empty. These are all empty. Those are empty too. <laughs> these are full though. I never throw out a notebook because you never know when you're gonna need a random plot point from a notebook in 2015, trust me. Ugh, so cute. A lot of these I haven't been used because I realized my penchant for a spiral. Um, I'm not a composition notebook type of girl. 
And then the bottom of my ottoman holds the good stuff. The first folder is my editor's notes from Accidental Evils. This folder is the draft before the editor's draft for Accidental Evils. Um, this red one is my first draft of Accidental Evils. I have a tendency to keep the rough drafts of all my books because it's awesome to look through and see how far they've come. Uh, speaking of, this is the first draft of Civil Blood. I'm covering the embarrassing opening to show you this timeline. Uh, the first draft was 1517 to 22417. Word count 57162. Ended up being 68K, I think. And that's really fun to see. Oh, bonus! I found my wireless Bluetooth keyboard that I take to the library and stuff to write on my phone. It's the Jet Tech, and it's awesome. Uh, but that is my writing space slash desk tour. I hope you enjoyed a peek into my weird world and snooping through my boxes and binders. I make new videos every single Wednesday, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.